I'm Officer Cassie Schaefer with the Ohio State University Police Division. Since we launched our Surviving an Active Shooter video in 2015, we've received more than one million views. We've also received many questions from our students, faculty, and staff. We're back to expand on our safety tips. As you learned in our first video, while it's scary to think about, you can survive an active aggressor situation by remembering three simple words, run, hide, fight. If you hear or see the attacker and you're able to dial 911 safely, give your name and location. Be prepared to tell the emergency dispatcher everything you see and hear so we can help notify your fellow Buckeyes. Once notified, police will immediately respond. When a Buckeye Alert is issued, the first message you receive may be generic in order to inform you of an unfolding emergency as quickly as possible. More information, including a location, will be shared soon. Even those not in the same area or building may be asked to shelter in place. Get to an interior room and lock doors or barricade doors, if possible. Text loved ones to let them know you're okay. Avoid dialing 911 simply for information. Dispatchers will be busy taking emergency calls from victims and witnesses. Updates will be shared via Buckeye Alert or on the emergency.osu.edu website. If you're outside, be aware of your surroundings and evacuate the area or seek shelter. More detailed information will be shared soon. Remember the run, hide, fight motto. The option you choose will be heavily dependent on where you are and your proximity to the attacker. Hopefully you've already prepared or at least thought about how you would do all three. If you see the attacker or know they're in the area, your first option is to run. Escape the area. If exiting through doorways or hallways appears unsafe, you may be able to escape through a window. You may have to break the glass. Find a heavy object and stand clear. Place clothing or other material over the broken glass to prevent cuts or injuries, or scrape it away before climbing through. Get as far away as possible and dial 911 to report what you saw and heard. If you feel, given the information known at the time, that hiding or barricading yourself is your best option, try to find a nearby room. Don't worry about securing the building's main entrance or exterior doors. If the door to the room you're hiding in does not lock, Block or barricade doors. Use furniture, a belt, or extension cord to secure doorways. Utilize anything that makes it harder for the attacker to find you or get to you. If furniture can't be moved or the door can't be locked where you are, you may choose to hide in another room if it is safe to move. Turn out lights and silence your cell phone to make it harder for the attacker to find you. Only open the door for law enforcement. sure if the individual is an officer, call 911 to confirm the officers are at your location. Make sure you tell the 911 operator you are on Ohio State's campus. <laughs> Fighting is always your last resort, but may become necessary, so you should prepare. While in hiding or behind a barricade, look for things you can use as weapons and prepare a plan should the attacker gain entrance, forcing you to fight.
spreading out and using the distraction technique will make it more difficult for an attacker to target you and may allow for an escape opportunity. If the attacker enters the room, throw books, bags, and other objects to disorient the attacker. If necessary, swarm the attacker as a group, grab onto arms and legs. If the weapon comes free, kick it away or put it in a trash can away from the attacker. A group can incapacitate the attacker and take them to the ground. Police are on the way. Restrain the attacker until they arrive. Your decision to run, hide, or fight is based on the information you know and your proximity to danger. Stay informed via the Buckeye Alert system. While we want you to make decisions for your own safety, we also hope that you have the safety of your fellow Buckeyes in mind. Do not take actions that would jeopardize the safety of others around you. We encourage faculty to dedicate a few minutes on the first day of classes to watch our Surviving an Active Shooter video. Have a conversation with your class about what to do in an emergency and point out the exits or escape routes. Discuss ways to secure or barricade the room. Most importantly, have an emergency plan and be prepared. Our Department of Public Safety has a full training program on surviving an active aggressor attack and can offer additional training to classes or departments upon request. Code Silver, Code Silver. Medical Center employees responsible for patient care have different roles and responsibilities. Follow our Code Silver procedure and ensure patient safety. Now that you know the basics, it's time to learn more about how you may be able to help us prevent an active attack. First, know the warning signs. Pay attention to clues that may lead to strange or overly aggressive behavior. Have you seen someone make violent gestures towards another person? Have you seen or heard someone make comments about harming themselves or others? Or has someone shown an unhealthy obsession with weapons or violence? You may just have a gut feeling that something isn't right. These can all be warning signs of a bigger issue and we need your help to identify these situations. If you see something, say something. Report suspicious or concerning behavior to the Ohio State University Police Division or local law enforcement. Our officers are trained to assess situations and offer support services to distressed persons. Like you, our goal is for the safety of everyone, including the well-being of the person in crisis. Add OSUPD's non-emergency number to your list of contacts and always dial 911 in emergencies. Those on regional campuses can also reach OSUPD dispatchers by dialing 614-292-2121. For off-campus incidents, dial your local law enforcement agency. Look out for your fellow Buckeyes in advance by speaking up if you notice something concerning. And remember these three simple words could save lives. Run, hide, fight.